Hey guys, this is Nick from Poodle Press. Hope you're doing well. Um, today, bringing you another awesome canvas extension, and this time it really is awesome because it is um, uh, what we're calling font awesome menus for canvas. So, font awesome is um, this just absolutely um, great icon set uh, um, on the web, and it just has tons and tons of icons that can be really useful um, for your site. And uh, WooThemes have recently used um, these for, well, it, in fact, it's under the hood in Canvas, but they've also used it for icons for their features plugin. And uh, we're using it for, for a menu plugin for Canvas. So uh, I just want to show you that today. Um, I've got my uh, basic um, Canvas uh, install here. And when you install, uh, when you buy a Font Awesome menu, it comes as a plugin. Uh, and as you can see, you just install it and activate it and it's just in your plugin list here and I've pre-done this to save time and when you do that in your canvas theme options you get um, as usual a nice little um, theme option here saying canvas extensions and um, uh, a subheading called font awesome menu and font awesome menu has tons of options but they mainly center around four menu areas the primary navigation um, the top navigation the uh, custom menu widget, so you can actually put menus into widgets and have icons displayed, and also the mobile menu. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, quickly how it works today. Um, if I just uh, refresh this, um, currently I have um, a primary navigation here. So all I do to add an icon into um, that menu is I actually go into the menu itself, and here, just check I'm on my primary menu. Um, under Home, you can see that uh, what I what I need is I need this um, CSS classes uh, text box here, and how I get this is I um, go up to the top when I'm in my menus, and in screen options you need to make sure that that CSS classes um, box is ticked. When that's ticked, you get this CSS classes uh, box here, and then you can put um, the icon class into. Um, directly into that box. So if you wanted it to be um, a calendar, for example, here, icon-calendar, that's what you would put in. So for the home page, um, I know that the icon is called icon, icon class is called icon-home because I use it all the time. If I then save that and go to the front end of the site, you can see here um, that it's got a nice little icon. Now, what Font Awesome does is it allows you to style that icon, put it in um, different positions and all sorts of things. So I'll just quickly show you um, how that works. If I go back to my um, Canvas theme options, uh, go back to Canvas extensions, I can have it the left of the navel, left of the nav label, or right of the nav label. So if I just show you what it looks like to the right, and then refresh the site, you can see it's gone to the right. I can have it underneath. I can also have it above. I'll show you that. Yeah, and I can change the size as well, so I can make it a little bigger. pretty nice and I can make it a different color as well okay it's looking pretty cool so just to show you what this might look like I've um, pre-done a menu that um, has lots of different icons in it uh, just to save us time so if I just change my primary uh, menu to the one that I set up earlier uh, there we are hit that one go back and refresh my site there you can see all of them there now I don't have time to show you, but obviously using Canvas settings um, in the primary navigation, you can create more spacing between here. You could use our um, center um, nav within the uh, within the page, um, so it centers everything. You could just make it look amazing and, and go for it. I just want to show you one, a couple of other quick options just with the primary navigation. One is you can remove these nav labels, so it wouldn't it be cool if it just, you know, just had the icon, so you have that option. Um, so if I go back into my font awesome menu settings, um, I can just click a button here that says remove navigation label on primary nav. Um, and if I hit that, there they are, they're just the logos looking pretty cool. That's so that's really nice. Um, the other thing to show you if I just um, do that and say put it back to the left is um, that actually it works on sub menus as well. So I'm just going to create in my menu a couple of um, sub menu items here we are so now actually a shop for some oh, let's bring that back a 
about on blog or under shop for some reason, but just to show you um, to show you what that looks like. So here you, they work on sub menus as well. So um, you can see that the icons are working on that sub menu, and you actually have some controls around that sub menu um, within within the plugin. So you can change, for example, um, the color of the um, sub menu icons, and you can also change them, say, to go to a different position, go to the right. So if I just show you quickly what that looks like, there they are. They've gone to the right, um, and uh, they're the right color. Um, and we've stopped them being underlined and, and things like that when we design the plugin. So uh, there you go, that's um, the primary navigation. Let me quickly show you how it works in the top navigation. So here's the top navigation. Let's say I wanted to put this phone icon in the contact us up here. And I would just go back into my um, menus again, select my the one that I've got as my top menu, which is here, go into contact us, make sure I've got that CSS classes thing selected, icon phone is the one that I want, um, which you could look up on on, on this uh, Font Awesome uh, 3 icon set. And here we go, save that, refresh, and you can see here under contact us, you can't see it because it's black, when I hover over it there's, there's a um, phone there, so I want to make that white, it's easy enough in the settings. I'm looking now for my top menu settings, and the color, so choose color of top navigation icons is there. I'll, I'll make it white and refresh again, and it's white. Uh, the only other thing, a uh, couple of other things to show you. One was the um, custom, um, uh, the custom menu within the widgets. So if I um, just go into my appearance widgets, I've actually added one to the footer called custom menu and I've actually made it a custom menu widget already in the menus. So I've created a specific menu for this. I've then added custom menu into my footer widget. And if I refresh and show you that, you can see here, that's I've just made a custom menu that's help, blog, shop. And you've got all the same kind of um, controls over that. You've got the colors so I can change, if I go into my canvas uh, theme options, go back into the font awesome menus, I can change the um, custom menu widget I've got all these options still so for example I can change the color of them and save changes and hey presto that works too um, so you can have all sorts of flexibility using um, using menus in widgets now uh, and then finally um, font awesome menus wouldn't uh, be awesome if it didn't work with um, your um, your mobile menu so here you can see the icons are set to white as default um, and it works in the sub menus as well um, but I can have all sorts of controls over that so I can um, if I go down to the mobile options um, I could set uh, the color to black I could um, and put them to the right rather than to the left of the nav label for example and if I refresh and show you that um, there you go so I've, I've swapped them around. Now it does work really well with our um, mobile menu manager. So uh, what you can do is play around and have some really, really funky um, icons in your new um, styled mobile menus using mobile menu manager, uh, which is available on the shop as well. So that's it guys, it was really quick run through. Obviously you could do some fantastic stuff. We'd love to see um, how creative people can get. We'll probably do a few more tutorials about um, how cool we can um, make our menus look using using icons. Uh, so watch this space. Um, as usual, all of our um, Canvas extensions come with a year of support and unlimited use uh, use on unlimited sites, so you don't have to worry about how many sites you use them on. Um, we'd love to know what you think. It's a bit of a fun one. Um, and uh, yeah, get back to us with any ideas or any um, issues uh, as normal. Thanks, guys. Have fun.